Hello, my name is Kurt Brown, also known as St. Rambone. I have a website titled Mobile Audit Club. You can find it by searching for it on the web or going to St. Rambone's videos and finding the link to the website on the, on the home page of St. Rambone's videos. I want to talk to you about a couple of things. I heard you made the, make the argument. I'm not really arguing on anything you say. I appreciate your comments on the science section. I noticed the YouTube science section is uh, has very few links. There are people more interested in in, uh, in bubblegum type thought. I like your thought because it's very deep. And it brings up some very big philosophical questions. One thing, your creation versus evolution argument. Some people will argue either way till they're blue in the face and it does absolutely no good until you can prove something. And some things are, you will never be able to prove because I don't believe we in this life are allowed to prove those things. There's a reason for that. We're probably still evolving. Speaking of evolution, but your creation versus evolution argument, I have been, I remember a, a biology professor who talked about that. He says they don't go against each other at all. If you look at it from the right perspective, you can see where they go hand in hand. I like to add to that by saying that it's recently been discovered that the outer edges of our universe beyond the stars has an outer layer and it's shaped like a loaf of bread. That's what they said on the program. I think it's shaped more like a brain or a cell. I mean a cell, I mean like a living cell. They say the laws of physics change there. The way I look at it, it's like lines of striation and things are constantly being moved around like in a circle like this or through you know different ways. It's just going all different ways inside of that. Now some people who have no education and no artistic thought would think that's insane. But then again, hasn't, hasn't humankind always been like that? They've always persecuted the people who challenged the traditional dogma, and particularly in the old Catholic Church, at least according to what we read in historical text. Which brings up a good point. Is history valid as it's written? I don't know. I wasn't born until, you know, the 60s. Now, the, you talk about the microorganism. A micro, microorganisms, how would they come into existence to begin with? I believe the first life was started when there was resistance. There had to be resistance. When there was resistance, there's friction. When there's friction, there's heat. When there's heat, there's action. The chain reactions. Now you also talk about adapting. The way I look at it is the Creator had all this in mind when the Creator first began doing things. Who knows? They talk about Lot. I believe the Creator has gone through much like Lot. When I fashioned my life as an adult, as a mature adult, with a humane conscience, I try to think as a creator would think. And I come to some very bizarre conclusions like this. At least bizarre even in my own mind sometimes. I believe that uh, things have a tendency to have shape and form. I have a tendency to travel in triangles, believe it or not, lately. I have spare time. I was pushed out of my work as a bank examiner. Why? Because I use my head and I observe and I say what I observe. I have been tortured, I have been injected, I have been jailed, I may have even been raped for reporting money laundering and murder at the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. But I keep on going. I was almost even hit by a meteorite in 2004. Now that is very strange. I was outside of Brahman, Oklahoma. Someone had predicted I was going to die that year. She predicted her own death in 1974 or 1975. Her name was Kelly. That was my birthday. I was almost hit. Am I, did I change? Did anything change? I don't know. I feel different now. But then again, I've been put through a lot of post-traumatic stress. I call this painting here the Queerest of the Queer Painting. It is a house pal talisman. I feel it has special qualities and effects for anyone who wants to purchase it. I'll be putting it on eBay. You can read about it on Mobile Audit Club's Quatrain One page. If you search for Mobile Audit Club and go to Quatrains 1, you'll read about this painting. I have other paintings for sale also. The, uh, it has a story behind it. My life, I've investigated murders, and I seem to find murder everywhere I go when I travel. At the end of the third point on triangles, I tend to, send, tend to run across either serial killers, killers, or dead men. Part of my occupation, it seems, is un, un, they're solving riddles. I believe we're in a sort of technological war, but then again, that's conflict. 
I appreciate your video, young man. It was very good. I'm glad you're thinking about science. I urge young people to, to major in engineering and science and to get prepared for the future because that's what it is. Also, protect your young. Whenever you're giving them drugs, they can accelerate the immune response. For instance, for instance, flu vaccines and things can accelerate the immune response in some children. And I believe do more harm than good. You should think about this. You should learn to use your own mind and everything. Thank you. This is Kurt Brown, St. Rambone, Mobile Auto Club. Have a good day, young man.